What's up guys, the Lazy Goldmaker here. We're back with another video focusing on Season of Discovery. And uh, today we're talking about uh, what was to me one of the most surprising big sellers of classic, original classic. Uh, and we're back with engineering consumables. Now that we can get skill level to 300, we can craft some of the best consumables in all of classic. And the most important one we can see here, the Goblin Sapper Charge. Um, this one is an absolute banger. We can also see I sold some thorium grenades for a very high price. Um, yeah, these explosives are extremely strong. So they provide a lot of AOE damage. Like, I mean, we can see, I uh, don't remember if I used any dense dynamites on the kill here. Uh, I didn't even hit that many with this. Um, dense dynamite in this one is worse. It's 2% of my damage on our Shade of Veronica's kill from earlier today. So it's very strong. It provides a lot of damage. It provides a lot of damage. We can see the the sapper charge here was uh, was two percent. People are going to want this um, for raid, and it's even be better, obviously, in in certain situations if you're doing speed runs or whatever. Uh, but th they are very strong. Um, these consumables. The sapper is the strongest one. This one to craft it, you need to be a goblin engineer. Uh, otherwise, you can't learn the recipe. But any engineer can use this as long as they have skill two hundred and five. Um, so that makes it quite valuable to be the uh, a goblin engineer. Although you can unlock the recipe um, now, uh, even if you aren't a goblin, uh, because they added some quest lines where you can learn some of the recipes from the other profession. Um, if you do, if you are a novice engineer, then pick goblin sapper charges as your first recipe. It's the most important one. Otherwise, um, just get uh, get crafting right away right away pretty much as we can see on my realm we're, we're looking at 70 silver profit over a one and a half gold crafting cost so almost a 50 percent profit margin which it which is extremely good and i sold the 10 i had crafted i posted them and they sold within five minutes um when i sold them just before we started baiting tonight um the dense dynamite i haven't sold any of that uh but it has really high profit margin on my realm i think it's a little bit too expensive um, because at uh, the current price, it's essentially as expensive as uh, the sapper charge. It should be a little bit cheaper right now. Maybe rune cloth is a little bit too expensive, um, so the price difference isn't large enough. Um, because it is essentially just like a cheaper, uh, a cheaper, uh, slightly worse sapper charge is what you would use it for. Then you have the grenades. Grenades have a stun effect on top of the damage. The thorium grenade was really good. It's also used in well in supplies, um, which is another way that you can get some sales on this one. We can see that this one is finally reaching some nice profit. Uh, one gold profit per uh, per thorium grenade, and I sold the three I had earlier. Um, so they are looking very nice. And then you have the iron grenade. This is sort of the go-to for pure PvP, very cheap to craft. We're looking at 12 silver. silver. And about 50% profit margin, so this one is, is quite useful as well. And then obviously we have some other explosives, like the big iron bomb used for waylaid supplies. I've sold a ton of these. We can see I've sold 300 of these. Um, pretty much all in this in this patch. Um, there's some others. Um, but, um, but those are the most important ones. Um, so if you want to maximize your profit, if we're looking at the separate charge in particular, I think the most important fact to realize is that you need an absolute ton of solid blasting powder, which means you need a ton of solid stone. You're looking at like, I think it's four solid blasting powder for every, um, for every separate charge. Um, and that's something you'll just have to pick out because uh, you, you, that means you need eight solid stone for every separate charge. Um, so you need a lot of solid stones. You need to pick them up whenever they're cheap. Uh, the price can vary quite a bit uh, on solid stones. Like people are going to drop a ton on the auction house. They're, it'll be very cheap and then the auction house will run out. The other two materials you need is mithril bars and uh, mage weave cloth. And I find that both of those tend to have a more stable price than the solid stone. So obviously you want to make sure you buy those as well when they're cheap. Um, but if we look at the auction house right now, um, solid stone, it's pretty much run out of solid stone at reasonable prices. Um, but if you go to the mithril bars, it's going to be like, it's going to be fine. Oh, actually completely out of mithril bars as well. Who would have thought? 
Um, but yeah, just pick up materials when they're cheap. Made with cloth, generally always easy to get at market value. Um, so pick up materials when they're cheap. Just craft these. Uh, make sure you sell them around raid time. That's when their people are going to buy them, and they're going to be a a really strong seller. That's what they've been historically. Um, and it is probably um, it is one of the best consumables in the game. It's the best one for usage in a fight, not as like a buff consumable. I think the um, elixir of the mongoose is probably like the strongest consumable in the game for that. Um, but yeah, it sells really well, um, really nice, uh, really annoying to craft because it's a lot of intermediate materials, which is actually really good because it means there's less competition. People are Not everyone's going to bother crafting um, these to put on the auction house. So yeah, that's it. Go craft some sapper charges, throw them up on the auction house. Stack sizing, you can do many different things. I just did stacks of two. You can do big stacks. Uh, I would do a, a large variety of stack sizes, uh, stacks of 2, stacks of 5, stacks of 10, stacks of 3, all of this can make sense um, to target different types of, of people and how many sappers they want to bring to rate. Good luck!